Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. I am really nervous. I am shitting my pants for this one. So as you all have noticed, lately I've been doing a lot of challenges and most of you seem to love them, but a portion of you seem to have a lot of opinions. <laughs> Some of you don't necessarily agree with the choices I make in my challenges. So for all those people, I hope you're following me on Instagram because today is for you. <laughs> today I wanted to sit down and do a fun makeup look, but I don't know what I'm doing because you are taking the ropes. You are choosing my makeup products for me. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, before I go into the explanation, let me just quickly get the first pull up so we can get a head start on when I actually wanted to start doing my makeup. Okay. Let's see if this works. So I did a slide to vote. So when you put the finger all the way to the left, it's Tatcha. Then when you move it a little bit over, it's Fenty, Morphe, no primer. I have a feeling because some of you like to say that I don't stick to the rules or some of you say that I don't commit that I have it coming for me today. I have a feeling that when there's an option for green makeup, everyone will go for green makeup. I already feel that when there's the option for sheer coverage foundation, feathery light brows, no contour, no highlight, and a green lip gloss, I feel like you guys will take that opportunity and backstab me. And you know what? I had it coming. Let's see what the first results for primer will be for. So when I go over to my Instagram and I go to my story, we see, let's swipe up to find out that the vote has gone for that little arrow points to Morphe Prep and Set Spray. All right, so before I dive into my primer, I wanna get my foundation pull up so all of you can vote as I'm applying that. And this round, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're literally gonna look at the amount of votes per foundation. Now, Instagram only allows for two options in the polls. Work on that. So what I'm gonna do is choose my foundation. Okay, so let's go for, of course, my holy grail, Becca. 24 hour, something bougie, La Mer, soft fluid. And then I'll just add that there are two more options after this. <clears throat> or the most sheer coverage foundation that I know of in my life, which is MAC Face and body. Okay, so now that that is up and running, let's focus on primer. You guys chose the Morphe Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray. I like it more as a setting spray as opposed to a prepping spray as a priming spray, but it works. I love my shirt. Drenched. Okay, I feel like primer was like that one step that I was like, it doesn't really matter what's gonna happen. I feel like right now we're about to enter hell. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the polls and see which foundation won. When I go to my Instagram and go to my story, I swipe up on the first one and I see that Becca, around 8,000 people voted for Becca, close to 6,000 for La Mer, and then Moment of Truth. Around eight for the Beauty Blender Bounce and around seven for a face and body. So that means the winner is Becca 24 Hour Ultimate Coverage. You do love me. So of course, before I go on and apply my foundation, let me quickly get my pulls up for concealer and powder, because I want to do that all in one go. Okay, so the pulls are up and running, and I will say that with the powder, there is a very interesting choice. Okay, so Becca 24 hour, here we come. I thought as soon as you guys would get the option to set me up for failure and give me a sheer coverage one that you would grab it so hard and hold it so tight. Um, but thank you. My skin and my look today, thank you. Everyone has been asking me if I have a um, sort of malfunctioned beauty blender because mine always seem to make um, that noise that some people adore and some people hate. I actually don't use beauty blenders by the brand Beauty Blender because I don't necessarily think they're the best 
My favorite right here is by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, and that is the sponge you've been seeing for the last couple of months. But throughout the months, it just started, as it got older, it started making that sound, and I thought it was really funny, and I didn't mind that sound, but today, I got a brand new Makeup Addiction Beauty Blender, and the sound, is mostly gone. Okay, so that is on. And now let's take a look at the winners for concealer and powder. Okay, heading over to my Instagram to see the results. So choose my concealer. Let's swipe up. Soft Matte NARS has about 8,000 votes and the KKW is close behind with a seven and a half. And then for the next page, we have ColourPop with almost six and then Tarte Shape Tape Seven. So the winner is NARS Soft Matte. What is going on? You guys love me or something? Thank you again. Honestly, shocked. Not even shook, just downright classical shocked. I think a lot of people are like, well, she wore 24 hour makeup for us. This is, I feel like this is your way of saying thank you, but not sabotaging my base products. I do, however, have a feeling that as soon as we get to eyeshadow and lips and all of that, the color green will be trending. <laughs> It almost sounds like there's a rattlesnake in the corner of my room when I move my shirt. Okay, now let's quickly find out which powder won so I can set my face. Choose my powder, there will be two pulls. Fit Me Loose Powder, 11,000 votes. Laura Mercier, 10,000 and a half. Mm, Too Faced, 11,8. Marc Jacobs, eight and a half. 11,8 means two-faced one on a Nikki Tutorials channel. Now, if you're new to my channel um, and you don't know why I'm acting so weird about a Too Faced product, back in the day, Too Faced was one of my absolute favorite brands. I actually got the amazing opportunity to collaborate on products with Too Faced and it was honestly a dream come true. Actually, the entire team was so amazing to work with and I got full control over all the products that I wanted to launch. So we came out with a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I was just so, so stoked about this set. Some stuff happened after. I know some people think it's the amount, I'm just being open and real with you guys because it's been years now and things have happened in my life where I feel like it's not that important anymore. A lot of people think I was upset about the money that I got paid. It's not about that. Money is a negotiable thing. This is something up to me, up to the brand. I was young, inexperienced. I didn't know what I was doing. That's on me. There are certain things that Too Faced pulled behind my back that I do not stand behind. Certain issues with the palettes that I voiced towards them and I got a response that I couldn't do anything with. Basically with the launch, a couple of things happened that I didn't agree with and it was voiced by me by the company so I had no idea that all of that was happening. They kind of left me in the dark when it came to that and that I will not accept. Money, that's on me. Quality, and making decisions behind my back, I'm not okay with. And that's kind of why I stopped using Too Faced products on my channel, because I want brands to be open and honest with me, especially when you do a collaboration with them. But I do wanna to add to that, that we have grown as brands. I have grown as a person. I hope Too Faced has grown as people. Um, and today we're using Born This Way powder. What happened is in the past. Do I like what happened in the past? Absolutely not, but like I said, a lot of more important things in life happen that put things in perspective. We'll survive. Okay, I think it's now time for the real backstabbing, the real setup, the real shadiness. Brows. Kat Von D, 8,000 and about 100. Precisely my brow, 13,000, okay. And brow powder, 10,000. Brow tint, 10,000. The winner with 13,000 votes is Benefit Precisely My Brow. I legit haven't used this in so long, I wonder. Cause I used to love this and then I just kinda traveled towards other products and I never really looked back. 
So I always start off by defining the bottom and then I brush the hairs down and I focus on the top. I have such a weird hole at the top of my brow. Like, what is, what is that? I even that out, obviously. I swear if you're not giving this video a thumbs up solely for the fact that I'm doing my brows on camera, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Now let's see if I can actually carve it out with concealer. I think I know the answer already, but let's just find out. Poll says 20,000 for yes, 12,000 for no. I'm a little shocked. I didn't see this one coming. Now it's time for the real shit show. The eye looks. I already just posted on IG, get ready for the eye look. There will be multiple polls, so let's go. So first off, we will look into primers. What primer shall I wear? Of course, P. Louise base, or the Helen E. base, which is another very popular UK found um, eye base. Fenty, gently, <laughs> Fenty eye primer, or the NARS eye primer. Palettes. The brand new Juvia's Place palette called A Freak. Or Lunar Beauty palette. Ooh, there's that one really bright Morphe palette with all the bright colors, Picasso palette. Hmm, or go for something drugstore, so LA Girl eyeshadows. Now tell me what style. Spotlight, smoky eye, cut crease, half cut crease, or no harsh lines, soft. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. Let's find out what my eyes will look like today. Now remember, you are in control. What primer shall I wear? 21,000 for Fenty primer. I legit haven't used a primer like this in so long. This is clear. That is blended in. It feels a little sticky. Of course, it's not as sticky as P. Louise because that's like a wet product. This dries down, but it has like a nice little stick to it. Okay, moment of truth. Juvia's Place, a freak, has 17.7 thousand. Lunar Beauty, 16.2 thousand. Ooh, Morphe Picasso, 22 thousand. And LA Girl Eyeshadows, almost 11 thousand. The winner is Morphe Picasso. We're in the mood for color, apparently. Now tell me what style. So for style, it says 17,000 for a spotlight smoky eye, 15,000 for a cut crease, and 14,000 for a half cut crease, and 17,000 for no harsh line soft. 17,256, 17,156. <gasps> You're kidding. We're playing with Picasso from Morphe without any harsh lines and it's all about the softness. And do I get a winged liner? I get a winged liner. Okay. Okay, I'm dipping into the yellow and I want this as an inner corner highlight. So colors are sticking onto the Fenty primer pretty well. Then I want to take a plunge into the green. I know, shocking. And applying this to the lid. Oh, wow. And okay, then the blue. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, hello. Mm. Okay, grabbing the purple to go right up against it. Kind of round the purple out and kind of blend it in. If you are a fan of Morphe and you want to save some money, you can use code Nikki at checkout and this will save you 10% off your entire order. And you can do this both online plus in their store. So if you're shopping in real life in a Morphe store, you can go to the checkout and tell them, but I want to use code Nikki and then it will save you some money at checkout too. So I just want to put that out there as I'm blending and blending. Going in with the pink to start blending out the purple. And then above that, a little bit of the orange. And some of the pink underneath. And then the blue again. And yellow on that inner corner. 
corner to connect. I'm feeling like an exotic bird. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the full on rainbow eye happening over here. Now time to do a wing liner. Okay, so liner is on and I wanted to make it super, super extreme to kind of ground the rainbow bit a little bit more. So now that this eye is done, I will do this one off camera. And while I do that, I'll start the pull for lashes. Time for lashes. Lily, Miami, Lily, Ella, or Ella, my favorites. Here comes the sabotage. Ardell Wispies, or <laughs> I don't want to do this, individuals. <laughs> okay, these very tropical rainbow eyes are done. And now let's see which lashes you chose to finish this look off. If it's gonna be individuals, I might cry a little. 24,000 votes for Miami's, 10,000 for Ella's. You guys seem to hate my favorites, okay. 20,000 for Ardell Wispies and 15,000 for individuals. Meaning Miami won. So now it is time to move on to cheeks. Okay, so I just put all the options on Instagram and let me quickly walk you through it. For cheeks, for bronzer, I have two options. My favorite Jouer Duo or this Morphe palette in Lo-Fi. It's a contour and highlight palette called Lo-Fi, which isn't my favorite on my skin. For contour, an option is my favorite Redial Insta Glam contour powder that I use whenever, just it's my holy grail contour powder or KKW. For blush, I'm letting you choose peach or pink. And because you guys have been so nice to me throughout this video so far, I wanna give you the option to an exclusive little sneak peek to something I'm working on. So for highlighter, I have four options. The first one is my collaboration with Ofra called Glazed Donut, which is an all-time fave. Plus another option is something I'm working on. And then you can also choose from Kylie highlighters or Cover FX glitter drops, which are wet, wet on dry skin. Bronzer, the winner of bronzer is the Morphe Lo-Fi palette. I'm thinking a good color to make a mixture with is this one and this one, which are called Literati and donut. And I'm just gonna stipple it onto the skin using my favorite brush that M -M 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 Mitchell gifted me. I'm not hating that bronzer. Same goes for the forehead. I always tap on my bronzer as opposed to swirling or swiping it on. I just feel like it leaves the base underneath a little bit more intact and flawless. And who doesn't want a flawless base? I sure do. All right, let's find out what it'll be for contour. I have a feeling that's gonna be KKW because not a lot of people know of Verdial and not a lot of people know that that is my favorite. So it's probably gonna be KKW. It's KKW, 23,000 votes. And taking a plunge into this color right here. Alrighty, nose contour on and baking. Don't worry, it won't look like this in the end. I'll wipe away the bake. Let's find out if we're going for pink or peach blush. Pink or peach. 33, a whopping 33,000 for peach. Today I'm using this Flower Beauty blush in the color Peach Primrose. Oh my God, that is so pigmented, oh my God. That just added the, the most insane amount of color and I barely dipped my brush in. Hello. Time to find out what is happening for the highlight. I'm excited to see if you guys are interested in seeing what I'm working on. So highlighter, here we go. 27,000 votes for something I'm working on and 14,000 votes for Glazed Donut. And in the next one, 21,000 votes for Kylie Highlighter and 19,000 votes for Cover Effects Glitter Drops. That means, oh my God, I get to show you an exclusive sneak peek to something I'm working on. I can't tell you too, too much yet. That will all happen soon. But for now, I can just show you what it looks like, I guess. Here we go. Oh my God, I'm so in love. This highlighter has something that looks extraterrestrial to it. It has a blue pearl with a lilac and purple duochrome, and it also has a white base. This will make you look like you are from another planet. 
I'm so excited for you to find out more soon, but for now, let's just, oh. Okay, the finish line is in sight. Let's find out what is happening on the lips and then we're very close to being done. Lip time, Yome time, thank you. Black lips, mm -hmm. nude and glossy. So my usual like typical like go-to lip. Green lips, dark green lips, lip balm. <laughs> Just to like give the haters a chance. Lip time, two pulls coming up. Black lips, 9,737. Nude and glossy, my signature, 12,000. I know people seem to always say that they hate that I always go for that, but you're voting for it now. Okay, and next up, oh please. <gasps> that was so close. 11 and a half thousand for lip balm and 9,600 for dark green lips. Wow. Dark green lips didn't even win. I'm shocked. I almost feel bad for this. The winner with 12,215 votes is nude and glossy. Okay, first some lip liner. Mm hmm. Let's see, KKW number one nude lipstick. Let's see how it goes with this look. Okay, and then for gloss, skinny dip lip topper by Jouer. And there we have it guys, my look totally picked and chosen by all of you, my glow babies. And I just wanna say thank you for not backstabbing me, for making some interesting choices in the beginning of this video, but wow, I am so happy with this outcome. It is a very dewy, rainbow, Look, maybe we can do this more often on my channel where you take the ropes and where you take control and you decide what you wanna see. If you want me to do this again in the future, definitely please let me know in the comment section down below or give this video a big thumbs up. Other than that, I wanna thank you so much for watching today's new video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you had fun and I hope you had the chance to cast your votes. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, at Nikki Tutorials. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for not backstabbing me and giving me this rainbow fantasy and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. I love you.